person I've got these from. Parents heard some noise in the bedroom and ran in there and saw their 18 year old kid um, gasping, throwing up, and um, gas is coming out of his body. Dad had to do CPR until they got there with Narcan to save him from these pills. The fentanyl epidemic is the deadliest drug crisis the Valley has ever seen. In just this year, we have lost 23 people to fentanyl overdoses. Because of this, I decided to have a conversation with Carrie Koshen, a local expert on drug addiction who has 40 years of experience. What he told me was that while fentanyl is far stronger than other opiates, that didn't paint the whole picture. Well, it's one of the most dangerous things we've ever had to deal with. Some of it is, again, is the potency of it. It's like I said, it's 50 to 100 times more powerful than heroin or morphine. And the scariest part about it, it's in everything right now. It's in um, heroin. It's in cocaine. It's in crystal meth. It's in literally everything. When compared to similar situations in the past, Fentanyl has been disproportionately affecting some of the most vulnerable people in our community. The sad part about what's going on with fentanyl, and the fentanyl right now is it, it's the people that are losing their lives. Most of these, a lot of these aren't even addicts, they're kids. Of course, our local community hasn't given up without a fight. I decided to talk to a local teen to see what strategies kids are using to stay safe. I've stopped taking ibuprofen from other students, not because I don't trust them, but because I want to be safe. The silver lining for all of this is that Narcan has been highly effective Which at curbing see? deadly situations. Yeah, Kerry has one Narcan. piece of advice for any household with teenagers with somebody... in. Narcan should be sadly in every household right now, especially when you're thinking there's some kind of substance abuse going on, because remember, fentanyl is in everything right now. For Canyons News, I'm Jacob Schneider.